Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading on new potential love and where you can find it. So if you're interested in finding out if there's anybody new coming into your life, then this tarot card reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind that it's not limited to the month of October. It can happen in the month of November, even potentially December. You know, so let's see. Okay, so what I see from the cards is an indication that for some of you, there is the possibility, okay, of meeting somebody that likes to communicate, somebody that is hardworking, okay? I feel like the combination of these two cards could be indicating that you might meet somebody in the workplace or you could meet somebody that you interact and engage with. Maybe you are in a certain, you know, work sort of situation where you have to talk to many people or you have to communicate to individuals. There is the potential of that, but I will be clarifying these cards in a moment, okay? Now, these cards here are showing to me that in order to bring this individual into your life, you're going to have to, you know, be a little bit clever, okay? I feel like the cards are indicating that you're going to have to take your time to get to know this person, to be able to ascertain if they have the qualities you're looking for. So I feel like it's talking about learning about their ways, their mannerisms, their behaviors, and trying to figure out their personality and who they are as an individual. So the cards are indicating that that is a very important step for you to find the right individual for yourself. So I feel like you're going to have to analyze them, try to suss them out, establish, you know, do they have what you're looking for in a partner? Do they have the qualities that you need for a long-term relationship, if that's what you're looking for? But before we go into this, let's see, these cards here are showing to me that in terms of this individual, I do feel like you're going to have to show them a lot of attention. I also feel like you're going to have to show them a different side to yourself, a more vibrant side. You know, I feel like you're going to have to be more easygoing, more balanced in the situation. It almost feels as if, you know, you're going to have to really be able to deal with this individual in a way in which they know that you're interested in them. So they don't feel like, you know, you're just showing them attention, but in a friendly manner. I feel like they're not going to get the message if you're going to go about it in that sort of way, okay? So let's see. From these cards here, what I can tell you is that... This individual is a mover and a shaker. I feel like they are all over the place because they're busy. They have things to do. They have, you know, responsibilities. They are not one to sit down and just relax. I feel like they are constantly on the move, constantly in a hurry. They got to get stuff done. I feel like they're very busy and that they have a lot of things lined up in their life. But this is a good thing because I feel like for some of you, you can genuinely meet somebody that can bring you a lot of love and happiness in your life. So, you know, it's very positive when you have this particular card on the bottom of the deck. Now, before I go on further, it's important for you to not only watch your sun sign, you have to watch your moon, your rising and your Venus on this channel. You can find many, many videos, okay? And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. So let's continue. What I want to do now is I want to clarify these cards, okay?
So I feel like the cards are indicating to me that this individual may have had a bit of a difficulty in a previous relationship, okay? And that's why they're all always on the move. They're always keeping busy. They don't want to just, you know, relax and um, just wait for things to happen. I feel like they might have been in a difficult relationship with an individual. They might not have, you know, had that sort of romance that you might be able to offer them or that they might be able to offer you something that is a bit of a foreign concept to them because they've had a bit of difficulties in the past. I feel like their eyes sort of got closed to it. It's like this individual, you know, doesn't want to really acknowledge the fact that they feel a sense of loneliness in their life. So that's coming off from these particular cards. I get the impression that, you know, in terms of their previous or past relationships, romance wasn't something that really, you know, lit up their world. It might have been a very dull down sort of experience for them. I also get the impression that this individual is not one to easily open up their heart. That could explain why they're always on the move. And, um, you know, you might feel like this individual is going to come into your life and you might have already met them. For some of you, you may not have. But you'll feel this connection to this individual and uh, you might feel like you can have the potential of a future with them, but it might feel uncertain because this individual is always busy, always doing things, you know, doesn't have time to sit down and think about their feelings. So if you're interested in a relationship with a person, you know, that's always pouring their effort into their work and you still want to persist in a relationship in this sort of situation, then go for it. But if you feel like, you know, this is going to take work or this is going to take effort, you know, you may want to back out of it. So it depends on what you're looking for at this point in your life. But the tarot cards are indicating love is coming in and you could be dealing with someone that's a bit of a workaholic or somebody that enjoys uh, doing what they need to do in their life in order to feel, uh, you know, a sense of contentment, a sense of satisfaction. Some people, you know, they don't know how to stop. And uh, that's just the very nature of uh, some individuals. Now, let's see. These cards here, let's see. I feel like it's important for you to study their way get to know them, take your time, don't try to rush. If you try to rush this individual into a relationship, they'll just escape from you. You know, I feel like it won't be easy to lock them down if you try to force them to be your partner or the person that you want them to be. Sometimes, you know, you have to take your time and that's what the cards are calling for. Again, I'm picking up that there's a slight defensive energy coming across from this individual. And what I'm sensing here is that this individual is a bit reserved. They might have had a bad experience with someone else. They might have had a bad negative experience that wasn't really positive, you know. And I feel like it might have made them feel a sense of sadness that um, some people are like this. Talking about the individuals that they've dealt with in the past. But yeah, I do feel like they are slightly damaged because someone gave them a lot of grief. Could be an air sign, okay, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a fire sign, could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but of course, it's very limiting to mention the, you know, particular sun signs because it can be the moon, the rising, or the Venus, so you can't just limit it to those particular zodiac signs, okay, you have to keep an open mind. Now, the next energies are indicating to me... How you can, you know, make things work with you and this new individual that's coming into your life so that you are prepared. So make sure to save this video in your playlist just in case this individual comes around. I feel like you have to be flexible with them because this individual, you know, it's not easy for them to acknowledge their emotions. It's not easy for them to open up. That's why they're always on the move. But they have a lot of love to give. And you might not see that on the surface area. I think they just felt hurt by being let down in the past or being let down by previous individuals. And that's why they have this sort of energy where they'd rather focus on uh, their career than deal with, uh, you know, the potential of a relationship. I do get that very distinct impression from them.
For some of you, you may have already met this person. I feel like you have to travel in order to meet them, okay? I feel like you might need a vacation, you might need a break, okay? And uh, you might meet this individual on some sort of trip, because I get the impression that, you know, you have to go in search of them, and they're not going to come to you. And I get the impression that, uh, you know, on your journey, you're going to have a lot to think of. But at the same time, you are going to put yourself in a position in which you're lining things up in order for things to happen. Okay. And uh, I do feel like you have to go the extra sort of distance to get what you're looking for in this situation. So for some of you, you know, you could meet somebody that's from a different culture, from a different race, from a different religion. It could be a whole plethora of things, but it's telling you to put yourself out there because your soulmate might encompass qualities that you might not be used to, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal one, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.